What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a brand new video for you today. It's very interesting. It's what you need to know about electric RC cars. So this video is going to be perfect for you if you're beginning in RC cars and you want to learn everything that you need to know about them. Or it'll also be perfect if you've been into them for a while and you want to reassure your understanding about them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so like I said before, we'll get right into the video. So this is my electric RC buggy that I use for racing. You can also, this video will be helpful for you if you're just into bashing around in your backyard sort of thing. Because they're the same sort of cars. So let's get right into it. So I'll take the body off. So this is my controller. It's a Spectrum DX4C controller. You can pick them up for around $200. Um, you can get controllers that are even around $30. It just depends what you want. Like this is a bit more expensive because I use it for racing. But yeah, so what the controller does, this actually controls the car. So this actually sends um, information to a part in the car called the receiver. Now the receiver receives information that you put into the remote. So if you tell the car to go left, this will then tell the receiver to tell a part in the car called the steering servo to turn left or to turn right. Depends what you put into the controller. This will also tell the rest of the car, such as the ESC or the electronic speed controller, either to tell the motor to go forward, backwards, slow down or reverse. So that's also a big part of the car, the ESC or electronic speed controller. It actually in controls the whole car pretty much. It gives power to the receiver, the motor and the transponder, which is a part that counts laps for electric RC car racing. And it also gives power to the servo, the steering unit. So that's a big part of the RC car. So this obviously plugs into the battery, um, the ESC does. So that's actually where the battery plugs into. So the battery that I'm running is a lithium polymer or LiPo battery. It's mainly used for high-end RC cars like mine. Um, but you can also get Nikehead and Nymare RC car batteries. But they're usually on brushed systems. Now what a brush system is, is brushless and brushed are different things. You can have a brushed ESC and motor combo, or you can have a brushless ESC and motor combo. So now the brushless combo is usually more powerful, more reliable, and faster. So that means that they're a bit more expensive, obviously, but I believe that they are worth it. Um, so you can get brush combos for around 50 bucks for both of them, or you can even get brushless for around $100. So it depends up to you if you want the extra power, but... RC drifting doesn't always need it, so you might not want a brushless combo in your RC drift car, but yeah. So that's my opinion. Um, the server that I'm running is Savox Servo. Um, you can pick them up for around $70, but you can get servos like $20. It just depends what you want. Like mine's $70 because I race mine, and you need a high torque and high power servo for a race car. So that's why I have a $70 um, Savox Servo. But you can get servos up to $150. You can obviously spend more all you want, but it's about trying to find the affordable parts for your remote control car that actually does the same job. So I believe the Savox Servo is a good um, price range for racing and also provides good quality um, products. Another thing that I have is a Tekken RS Gen 2 ESC. Now this ESC has worked really well for me recently. I recently bought it off a friend of the track because my other Hobby Wing ESC broke and then this saved my life pretty much on state titles. So that was really nice of my friend to do that. And what motor I have, I have current state titles motor for racing, so you probably won't know that what that is. It's just like an Australian, it needs to be that motor if you're racing at state titles. But that's mainly for racing, so yeah. You probably won't have to do that if you're just brushing around in the backyard with your RC car. So yeah, that's a big thing. Um, my motor is actually a 17.5 turn brushless motor, so it's pretty quick. It's used for stock racing, so it's usually the same pace as the other cars. So that's what's makes it stock racing, so it's like mainly about the drivers who can win. So it's not as much about what motor you can run. Alright, moving on. Another part in the RC car is the actual shock absorbers or the suspension, this part here. So it's very good if you can try and change your shock oil as much as you can. Because this makes the dampening and the cushioning of the jumps, or if you're bashing in the backyard, a lot better. This can actually introduce um, better dampening in the car, like I said before. It'll also give the car a lot more traction on the track. So that's a very great thing to do. Make sure you can always clean your tyres after racing if you do race or you're bashing. Make sure to clean your tyres with um, Simply Green does the job. Because that makes them a bit sticky as well. And then that makes them really, really grippy in the dirt. So that's really good um, if you're bashing or you're racing. So what transponder do I have? If you're getting into racing, you'll probably want to know this. It's a Mylaps 3-wire RC car transponder. does the job really well. You can pick them up for around $100. But the good thing about transponders is 
If you ever need to sell it, it'll sell for around the same price you bought it new because it only does the one job of counting laps so you can't really break them that much. So another thing about RC cars is the drivetrain. Now the drivetrain in this car is very normal to any other car. It's a four gear drivetrain, it's oil based obviously and also has a differential in the car. So that's very interesting. Um, so I've gone through the motor, the receiver, the electronic speed controller, the servo the shock absorbers and the controller. So I think that's about it guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel down below and make sure to watch another video. See ya!